All right, we're ha we're still here at the Skegness um, Center, Masonic Center, and we're here with the Master Simon Noden. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. It's been a good day. Yeah. Uh, you had a lot of people coming in, having a look. We have, we have. It's in various interest. Uh, certainly opened the doors to Skegness to see what we do here, and you know, it's not all behind closed doors all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So you're the master of the lodge. Yes. Is that this lodge or is it? Uh, Lumley Lodge. Oh. Uh, there, are, there are two lodges in the building. There's uh, Lumley Lodge and then we've got our daughter lodge, which is St. Clement. Uh, we meet on the third Wednesday of the month. They meet on the first Wednesday of the month. Uh, but with that friendly, we both go to each other's lodges, so you don't always know the difference who belongs to which lodge. There's just friendship between both of them. Absolutely. Absolutely, mm. yeah. Uh, I mean, it, you know, obviously we've been talking to some of your members here today mm. and... Uh, a bit of information about uh, what you do. Obviously, it's mm. some we can't have, which we fully understand. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, I, we, we, we respect that totally, you know. I, well, I certainly do, you know, I think it's important. Mm. But Now, will you tell us about what you're wearing? Can you give us some information about your your apparel, let's say? What it is, what it's called, what it's for? It's just your regalia. It's just right. regalia. So, uh, the cuffs designate my rank of office. Right. So as you can see there, there's a square. So when you've got squares, that tells you you're the worshipful master of the lodge. If you look on the table where all the other collars are, it's just your rank of office, whatever you are, that, that term. Uh, the apron, you can see they've got the T-bar on there. Yeah. If you look at the other ones where they've got the rosette, so to have the T-bars on, you have to have been a worshipful master to get that. And that, after you've been through the chair, as they call it, you'll still wear this apron. You might wear a different collar, but wearing that shows that you are a past master. You have a collar similar to this, and it has an additional square piece in there, and that shows as it's the rank of a past master. It shows you've, you've, you, know, you have been through the chair. How long have you um, been a mason? Uh, I joined in 2011. Uh, they have the social events, what they call the ladies' nights. Whoever the worshipful master of that term is, uh, is lady as a ball. So they can invite friends and family to it. So it's, it's, it's quite a big event. I mean, the one this year we're having at Southview, and there's going to be around 200 people attend. Oh. So it's yeah, it's, a, it's not a small night. No, no. Uh, so, and it's quite good because I get to keep quiet for once, and my wife gets to stand up and do the. She gets to stand up and do the speech. Oh right, okay. Yeah, because it's her night, right. and it's all about the ladies, and it's uh, it's us guys sort of saying thank you for putting up for us all year coming yeah. here and yeah. you know ironing the shirt. What they do, they look after us, and yeah, you know, without your lady behind you, you. you you can't do what you do here. Yeah. You, need, you need the support of your wife. Yeah. Behind yeah. every great man, there's an even there greater woman. Is. When it's like, are you going out again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you having for your tea, dear? You know, I come here and have a three-course dinner. Yeah. You know, she's like, oh, right, I'll order a kebab, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the, the reasoning, obviously, mm. uh, for today was to open it up to the public. Yeah. Have, have a look, have a see. Dispel some myths, yeah. maybe as well. It is because you, you, there's certain rumours and people yeah. add to them. It's like everything else, and they always like a bit of drama around it yeah. and mysticism. And it's, it's, it's not. It's just uh, you know, it's a it's a really good yeah. thing to belong to. Yeah. Uh, on the back of what's happened at Waynefleet recently uh, and the donation that they've come from Freemasonry. Lumley Lodge thought that was a perfect time to open the door and then if anybody from Wayne wanted to come along and says, you know, because not everybody knows about free mercy, you, you, you be a round table and, you know, you know, but to have that amount of money donated, it's like, oh. And personally, I've had text messages sent to me and message on Facebook saying, they know I'm a mate, and they've gone, thank you. You know, wherever it's come from, thank you. And, you know, when you've lost everything, it's, it's a, you know, it is, you know, you don't know how it affects people's lives. So the door's open, come in, ask questions. You know. And I think it's important, I mean, it's, as we now know, of course, that the, the Masons are the second biggest donator to charity in the country, yeah, which yeah. I think would surprise so many people. Ev everything comes out of people's back pockets in there, so, yeah. so there's no, you don't get them at supermarkets shaking the buckets. Sure. Everything comes from raffles and fundraising and one thing or another, and it all comes up. So we have our, our, our nights at meet, we have our ceremony. We're coming here, and we've had 140 people in this room for a sit-down meal, uh, which is good. And it, and then obviously the, the raffles, and it might go to a local charity. Every year, both lodges, every lodge really, but in Skegness, St. Clement will equally donate between two charities, £750 each. We do the same as well. So last year we made a donation to Bromley South East, Skegness Air Cadets. They were struggling for sports equipment. There'll be scout groups who benefit from it. You know, it's got to be, as long as it's some benefit to the community, 
you know, and they, they get £750 each. And some of them, when you meet them, they are quite desperate. It, it, it makes yeah. a difference. Yeah. It yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. And well, it's know. hard to raise funds. You know, yeah. We found that personally. You know, it's hard to actually raise funds unless mm. you're a fully registered charity where you may have a better chance. Mm. But, but for, for normal community groups, you know, they find it very difficult to raise money. And, uh, you know, even a small injection of cash can make such a big difference yeah. to them, can't they? You know, yeah. the difference between whether they continue or fail, you know, and I think. Doing what you do is, is such a great thing to do, you know. It is. I mean, it is it, we do have our sort of national charities, as Masonry as a whole yeah. gives to, but then it's still maintaining, you know, what's on your own doorstep, what's happening out there in Skegness, you yeah. know, yeah. that makes a difference to people. And it'd be, it is quite nice when you've got somebody who may come up from a scout group and gone, I remember that you'd be made a donation to us, and now I want to be a Freemason. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how that can, and just that one act. Can yeah. change somebody's view of what we do. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think I think it's brilliant. Yeah. I think what you've done today, I think, is a great idea. Yeah. I think hopefully it will, uh, you know, open people's eyes. Yeah. And you know, maybe even introduce potentially new members to your yeah, group possibly. as well. You know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, but thank you ever so much for your time today. Thank it's you. Been great. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue on to see what else we can chat to and things like that. But yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.